So a couple of days ago, I posted a video about my thoughts about the Shutterstock changes to the way that they're going to pay contributors. And there was, let's just say, a very lively discussion in the comment sense section. Some of it positive, most of it more negative. But there's a couple of things that I took out of those comments. You know, one of the things was a lot of things focusing on greed and the money. Um, but another thing that I took out of it was a lot of people were really focusing on the 10 cents a download. You know, my images are worth more than 10 cents a download. I can't, you know, I'm not going to upload here because of 10 cents a download. I also saw people saying things like I'm going to lose 60% or 65% and I've got thousands of images up there and I, and I can't afford to lose that 60% drop in revenue. But when I thought about it, like, you know, looking at the new revenue powers, I don't think people who are make, who are selling thousands of images are going to have a 60% drop. So I thought it would be interesting to go in and take a look at my 2019 earnings and figure out that if I made the exact same image fails, sales in 2020 under this new plan, how much money would I lose or gain? And I was really surprised actually when I calculated it out and it got the result. But first, let me just talk a bit about, you know, the changes so I can talk through the calculations. So I did have to make some assumptions along the way just because, you know, there's not enough stats to calculate it exactly. Okay. So if you look at the way things were sold before, I was tier level three. I've sold like $9,000, I think, on Search Talk or 8000 and a half, something like that. So I was in this year. So I was getting $0.36 cents for an image, one seventeen for a small image, and then two seventy dollars for larger images. Um, custom images, I don't get a lot of those anymore, so I didn't really do that in the calculation. I didn't have any footage sales last year, so I didn't use that. So I'm really focusing on these... Um, on photo sales, and I made like 750 sales last year. Okay, so that's I know how much I made for each of these. I can figure this out because Shutter Stock told me right in my earnings report. Now, with the new system, the way that it works is, do you know what I mean? Like you start at level one and then you move up. So I would have ended the year at level four at 30%, but only the last 250 images would have been at that level. You know, the earlier images would have been at early ones, right? Like where I am right now, this year, I actually started in June at level three, right? So, you know, but I'll probably go to, probably, you know, hit four, maybe in September or something like that. So let's go over and take a look at the calculator. Now, first, I just want to walk through, like, and just show you that, you know, obviously, maybe not obviously, 10 cents an image isn't the average image price, okay? It's the low. It's the minimum image price. So I want to walk through and talk to that because it just seemed like every, people were thinking that, you know what I mean, like everything was going to be 10 cents. But that's not really the case, right? The only 10 cent images are for the larger packages. So if somebody purchased $750 a month, right? And at the start of the year in January, everybody's only going to get 10 cents. Now that is a huge drop, right? Because I was at level three before and I was getting 36 cents, right? So obviously there's no way for us to know right now, we will know <laughs> eventually uh, once we see the stats, we don't know right now what percentage of the sales are 750 versus 350 versus 50. Okay, um, so that's an assumption that I had to make. When I go in my calculations, I'll tell you how I assume that. But pretty much, I just assumed that you know, what I mean, there are there are probably more people downloading, you know, what I mean, with the 750 images and less with the 10 a month images. Okay, now we also have small images and lar large images. Um, and again, these were priced very differently before, so you can kind of take a look here. These are what the prices were. But for the most part, with these ones, with the percentage, because these are the sales that they're getting right now, right, what they're being sold for right now. So you buy two large images, it's 1450. So before I was getting 270 at level three, right? So the first image is in level one, I'll be making less. But once I get to level two under the new system, I'll actually be making more, right? So it actually doesn't take long to get up to the number two. And then like by the end, you're making actually significantly more, almost double. Right. So when you look at the on demand images, which for me is, you know, almost half the revenue, um, you know, there's obviously a lot more downloads of those, but half the revenue comes from these. If you look at the largest tier, right, again, I'm assuming I'm understanding these calculations correctly, that 50, that 40 percent is going to be a lot more than it um, than, than I was getting before. OK, so there's areas of this that you're going to be making more money and then areas you're going to be making less, right? Even on subscription sales, I actually got um, one of these today, one of these, uh, where was it? Like actually 63 cents today, right? So um, 
I'm in level three right now. Today I got paid 63% for um, a subscription, right? Whereas before I only would have got 36 cents. So even on the subscriptions, if there's smaller monthly plans, you could get paid more. And I did get paid more today, actually. So I made more in a subscription sale today than I would have under the old system in May. All right. So I just want you to understand that obviously there's a lot of numbers here. They made it quite complicated, difficult, but I needed to calculate this out so that I could go ahead and calculate my revenue. Okay. So let me explain how I did this. Okay. So I needed to make some assumptions, right? Like on how, what percentage of my downloads, my subscription downloads were for each of these, right? So I'm assuming that 30% of my subscription downloads are coming from the cheapest package, 20%, 10 and 10. There's no way for me to know right now whether this is correct, but I'm just doing that. And then here, I just assumed five across the board, okay? 750 images in 2019, I had like 741 images sold. So this was an easy way to round it out. Okay, and when I did, so when I calculated it out, this is about how much I made. It wasn't exact, but those percentages worked out to my previous earnings, which was like 624, I think it was $50 off that or something, but it, it worked out, you know, very close to that. Okay, so that's what I made last year. Now, taking these percentages um, is a bit of a calculation because, you know, you look at this, like the first 10 photos, I also had to assume that they're going to be evenly distributed. Okay, so if I go through here, um, you know, of the 75 photos that I saw at the 10 a month subscription, 10 would come in at the 15%, 15 would come in at the 20, 25 at the 25, and then 25 at the 30, right? So I did it evenly. And then I can make they go to the sales, okay? Again with these, right? So 225 of those are going to be the lowest level. So these ones are not great, right? 30, I'm only getting 30 cents here, right? I'm only getting 450 here. Um, so it's significantly lower than what I was. But what I'm seeing here is that for the stock photos, and especially in this last month, I'm making more on every one of these. And if I, if these calculations are correct, then I would actually make more money. Right? This really surprised me. I actually just assumed I was going to be making less. And I may still make less. These, these assumptions on percentages may be wrong. But looking here, you know, I if these percentages are right, I'll make $150 more. Now, again, that's if I have the same sales in 2020 as I had in 2019. That's probably unlikely because of COVID. Right. So you're going to see a lot of people saying online, oh, my sales are going down. Well, you know what I mean? You need to go back and calculate what they would have been before. So the reason I'm just going through this video is, you know, there's a lot of emotion around this, obviously, more emotion than I've ever seen in the comments of any of my YouTube videos. And, you know, I don't always agree with it, but I wanted to, but I understand it. But I also want to make sure that, you know, um, on this channel, you know, it is the purpose of this channel is to help photographers and provide tools for photographers. And so if people are misunderstanding what they think their sales are going to be, and that's causing them undue stress, I don't want to see that. And I think that is happening to some of the people that are looking at these videos and making comments on these videos. So I thought it made sense for me just to do a quick video on this and even, you know, set up the camera, just doing the screencast. I typically don't do this. I typically try to make a bit better ones, but I wanted to get something out there sooner than later. Um, and just take a look at this. So, you know, you can go through and think about this, um, look at how your sales go, but, you know, you may find that you're going to make more. And again, I'm a pretty small contributor. For those contributors that are making, you know, $500 or $1,000 a month, they're going to move up in the ranks quite quickly. And I think, you know, those contributors are going to be making more out of this because when you get to level three, level three, again, there's some that are lower, right? But, you know, for these on-demand sales, which, again, there is a fair, fair number of these, it is significantly higher and I think it's actually going to offset the decrease in the sales when you're getting the 13% from the 700 from the $750 a month subscriptions okay. anyways let me know um, what you think in the comments if I made any mistakes in the calculations um, let me know as well too um, did this pretty quickly um, but I based on my understanding what I have here is 
correct. So maybe think about this, go through, do it for yourself, and realize that there is the potential that under this new rule, you may be making more money from as a Shutterstock and Trigger rather than less, especially if you're going to be in the 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 photo downloads every year. Anyways, hope this helps, and best of luck selling your photos online.